Hey, this is Tamara signing on with Burly Men at Sea. Okay, so I don't really know much about this game. I don't even remember how I got this, but okay, Burly Men at Sea, released in 2016, made by, from what I can see here, a husband and wife team, whom with their little studi studio, uh, Brain and Brain, and yeah, I guess just about some uh, fishermen who, and that's about all I know. I did start it for a couple of seconds, but then stopped, but then it was like in the middle of a scene, so I decided we'll pause it and reset, do reset. I've been playing a bunch of small games lately. Will erase all progress, are you sure? Yeah, I'm playing a couple of small games, so I figured this one was sitting on my PS4 for a while. I don't remember if it was like PS Plus or just like on a huge discount. I thought I remember, I should have looked into this, but I thought I remember first heard about it on the Co-Optional podcast and Dodger was playing it. So... Dodger, Dex bonus, press hard to continue, all that. It's got a cute little art style. I'm just moving around this thing. Hey, ship, or not a ship in a bottle. Okay. Oh, what's this, calls one of the fishermen? Some kind of rubbish in the nets? Again, I don't know much about this, but apparently, according to how long to beat, it might take me a half hour to beat this. So I figured let's just try and uh, get it done. Useless sea shot grumbles the hasty one. Nothing on it but our own island. I'm just trying to get a map cast. A map cast to sea without purpose must be more to it. Argues the steady one. Don't know the difference between any of them, but I'm just reading and going with the voice. The brave one brightens. A mystery. Aye. All right. <laughs> This is probably a fun little... Folks in the village may know something of it. We should head back. Well, up the, oops, up the volume a little bit. Yeah, cute little art style. Very, like, uh, s simple, blocky, but looks nice. Alright, so... I'm gonna... All I know is I used the left stick for this arrow and this right stick for... What was it? A Quiet Adventure game by Brain and Brain is how I saw it advertised. I love that walk cycle. Just do, 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 do. In the water, in the water. Oh, I was so hoping they would fall in. Oh, uh, can I... Knock on the door. Those noises are totally somebody. Okay, it might be too loud now. Those noises of those creaking tools were totally somebody just going in the microphone. Okay, cute. Now I can just figure out what to do. Uh, oh, there's a person. Can I just click on them? Okay, clicked on them and now we're all rocking towards them. Oh, we could have knocked on that door. Sea shot, eh? The young man shrugs. Can't say I know much about him with these landlocked legs of mine. Old fellow next door in the coffee shop might have some answers. Alright. Thanks. So which is the coffee shop? None of these buildings are labeled. Well, let's just open a door here. Chicken coop. Brave Beard slides over to the chewing cow. You wouldn't know anything about the mysterious maps, would you, old girl? He pretends not to wait for he pretends not to wait for an answer. Okay, so orange is brave. Or yeah, he's kind of I got my brightness set up way too high, so like the colors are distorting a little bit, but. Okay, but the middle one's brave. I'm guessing the brown beard one is hasty or whatever. It's the only other place in town. There we go. Everyone's... If you got a beard, it's just that big. That's how it works in this town. You'll be wanting a drink and a seat by the fire, I expect. The man... The man cast a dubious glance at the tiny stools before complying with the sh with the shrug. Behind them proceeds a friendly whir of a mechanical so whirl of mechanical sounds. Blech. Old man hobbles over. 
The old man soon approaches with a steaming tray. Single origin, single origin espresso. Roast it myself, he declares. He stare blankly. They stare blankly. <sighs> Coffee. Relaxing, the men sip cautiously, eyes widen. Now what you found? Now what have you found? He chuckles at their stunned faces. Observations, that's all. Folks come in with questions, and yours is plainly rolled in your hand. Steady Beard grins. Aye, they are. They. Then you are the man we want to see. He unrolls the parchment between the hall and lean in. The old man deliberates for a moment before speaking. Seems what you have here is a variety of map, or uh, in, is the variety of map that brings about adventurous deeds and heroic feats. I, Bravebeard, leaps from his seat to pound Steadybeard on the back. But there's nothing on it, remarks Hastybeard flatly, eyeing the old man. Throw it in the fire and all shall be revealed. The old man grins at a skeptical look. I, it's a worthless adventure that begins with the unknown. This map has tales yet to tell. Now get him a shop. He turns to walk away. Oh there, what sort of tales, calls Braybeard? That depends, replies the old man. What sort of you choose? What of one, what sort you choose? He crosses the room, disappearing through the doorway behind the counter. Alright. This is gonna be like a weird point and click. I suppose that's exactly what it's been. Say Beard coughs awkwardly. Neat. Guess we'll be going then. Uh, thanks for the suppresso. <laughs> he tries. There's no answer. All right. So let's go back to the ship, I suppose. All right, burly men, off to the sea. <laughs> No, back to the ship. There we go. It's nice little music. It's very, like, yeah, very cute. Oh, God, we're already lost. Sea rats, remarks Hasty Beard Squinton. What do you reckon they're after? Steady Beard frowns. I don't like it. Has the feel of mischief about it. Mischief? Away, grins Brave Beard, losing, loosing the sails. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, uh, that could possibly go wrong. Well, that was Burly Man at Sea. I hope you enjoyed it. It's dark inside the whale, but the men appear to be intact. A, flicker, a flickering ring of firelight cuts into the darkness before them. Uh, okay. Okay, there's the burly man. Great barnacled one. Guessing they're talking about the whale. Uh, hello? Join us, friends. From hence, where do you come? Asked one of the nymphs. Oh, they're nymphs. Okay, I guess that makes more sense than what I was thinking. We were sailing for, an ad for adventure and heroic feats when this colossal whale fellow scooped us up, explained Steadybeard. It's really very discouraging. <laughs> Set out for adventure and then you get eaten by a whale? Yeah, my pride would be hurt too. A man can't probably have an adventure at sea indoors, adds Bravebeard. Be calm, friend. Imagine the wave. Become the wave, advises a second nymph. The others exchange mellow glances, nodding approval. Can't say I follow the sentiment in that remark, comments Hasty Beard. But if you'll advise us on how to hop off this vessel, we'll be on our way. The great barnacle one brings us to a place we could not go ourselves. But those unwilling may depart through the fountain of the faithless, adds the nymph, gesturing sadly towards what appears to be a hatch. And our ship? She can't fit through that. Fear not. Once the great barnacle one reaches the place of promise, we will open he will open wide the gates that all may go out as they came in. This sounds culty, so either we escape with no ship or wait for the creature to open its maw. The nymphs nod grandly. Time flows quickly in contemplation of the Great One's splendor. He who chooses the path of waiting is welcome here by the fire. Rabier's face shows alarm. I think we'd uh, prefer to look around first. The nymphs begin to sway. 
But all is darkness beyond the circle of the Great One's love. You must first seek the enlightenment of... Found it! Interrupts Hasty Beer, grabbing a torch from the fire before them. Alright. Now that we got a little light, what happens if we look back? Is that the hatch that they're talking about? Alright. Those are barrels. Probably not. A few barrels left empty by the morning's interrupted work. Now float free beside the boat. The men consider them in the torchlight. If I were the puzzled solid sword, observes Hasty Beard, I'd call that a solution. Aye, they'll float, nod Steady Beard, but not so well as our ship. What are we, landsmen? Arms and legs float well enough. <laughs> Alright, so if we wanted to escape, we could use the barrels. Okay, we can't go any farther that way. Oops. I'm guessing that's the hatch. Don't leave! Oh god. Hold on, let's go back. Just to make sure I don't lose anything. Men fidget for a moment as Steady Beard clears his throat. If you don't mind our intrusion, we will wait here with you fellas. Sit, friends. For those who follow the Great One, there is no mind. I want to look around a bit more. <laughs> Aye, that's the plan, grins Bravebeard. The three men sit. Okay. There's silence, and the nests begin to speak in turn. Within the Great One, there is only to be. The Great One encircles us in the circle of all things. The Great One's kindness is ass. Okay, that was a weird... Genetically modified potatoes, the men begin to nod off, now catching only a piece of the nonsensical exchange as they fall into a deep sleep. Oh, that eye is... okay. Biodiversity. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to just stop, but final stop, please exit through the front of your belong with your belongings. The path of waiting. Alright, I probably was going to sit around and wait anyways, but I was just curious. Away! Those long-haired imps let us th sleep through our stop, complains Hasty Beard as they sail out into the sunlight. Brave Beard merely shudders. May as well see where it is we have stopped anyway. Alright. So I guess there are branching paths of this, which is interesting. Uh... to do. Okay, this way. What's that noise? Oh. Great lump. Lumping land rats, exclaims Braybeard, edging away. Stop, the voice is deep. Oh, stop, the voice is deep and aged as the earth itself. Men and rocks stand staring at one another. Moments pass before the creature speaks again. You are small. Something about the naivete of this statement seems to ease the men. You're rather large yourself, tries Braybeard hastily. Thank you, rumbles the small mountain simply. This little thumpy, like, womp music. Would you like a flower? I'm quite good at flowers. Oh, we don't want to be a bother, begins Hasty Beard. In fact, but the creature is already turning. Do we just wait again? Or maybe I will fetch three, rumbling happily to itself. The geological oddity thunders away. The men breathe sighs of relief. Do we, do we just wait again? Do we follow him? Should we follow him? Maybe we should follow him. I have done it! I have fetched a flower! The men turn reluctantly from their enticing safety of their boat to face the returning earthquake. Gently, the massive stone fist places before them what appears to be an upended tree. 
Well, thanks. Why, thank you, Gush's hasty beard, elbowing the snickering Bravebeard. What a nice flower, the big creature beams. Uh, what do we do? Do we touch it? The creature's shoulders slump, dejected. It has wilted. You know, I think I saw another one on the far end of the island, suggests <laughs> Steady Beard. Why don't you go? I will fetch it, brightening the mountainous being, brightening the mountainous being turns once more to thunder away. You know what? I'm sticking around for this rabbit trail. Follow him. Or maybe three, Hasty Beard calls after him, grinning. Quick, while well, we have a chance, he adds in a whisper, leading the way to the boat. Oh, come on. I don't want to leave him. Ah, oh, okay, fine. Fair enough. I got the flowers, though! <laughs> Alright. That was in an interaction we've had. Quite good at flowers. Nothing that way. I was just curious if I clicked on the boat if anything would happen. Did we stop? What happened? I don't like the looks nor sound of that worry steady beard over the distance. Rather by fetching rather be fetching flowers with that walking rock pile on dry ground. Oh, I read that completely in the wrong tone. Alright. Rain. Okay, whoops. Just seeing that the pause button worked. On cue, a shower of rain tumbles over them. Suffering squid livers, howls Hasty Beard, will be sunk, they bail furiously, but the downpour is relentless. Through the eerie gray, they seem to hear a faint keening of wordless sing, of wordless song. Uh, ooh, hello. Oh, they're creating like a little barrier above me. Cool. Thank you, ladies. A flash of lightning. <coughs> Something I caught. Okay, this suddenly illuminates their surroundings. Woman folk, yells Bravebeard. There are woman folk in the water. His shout is followed closely by the splash of Hasty Beard jumps in. Oh god, Hasty, what are you doing, man? Of all the kelp headed half wits, a second splash halt halts Teddy Beard's analysis on the situation slightly deeply. Slightly. Sighing deeply, he dives after them. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Burly men at sea, there's book buxom women in the water. Finding the dark water empty, the men quickly regret their course of action. I suppose I did fall into it. Can't swim, can't breathe. Is this like the real folklore type of mermaid that just drags you to your death? Oh god, did I just kill them? Woman folk in the water. Oh god, Narwhal. I was so sure it was just gonna stab me. <laughs> Enjoying the scenery. <laughs> okay. I'm waiting for their bodies to just start sadly floating up. Well met, bearded travelers. The voice is deep, musical. I'm pressing stuff. It's a slight glow. Huh. Uh, hello, stammers Braybeard Odd. This, this, the absurdity of underwater speech only adds the wonder apartment on his face. Uh, the wonder apparent on his face. Sorry. You see much this day, she continues smiling. The men nod unnecessarily. Yet you have not seen all, she appears at each of them. Other past lie untrodden behind you. 
If it is your heart, if it's in your heart to seek those paths, another day awaits. Acebeard clears his throat nervously. Pardon my interruption, ma'am, but we've no longer any vessel which to seek them. Lost at sea, she was. The, silver, the silvery laugh ripples the water around them. You have traveled far without her, have you not? But do not be troubled. With that which is lost, may it be found. May we meet again at the end of another path, inclining inclining her... Oh, glimmering head. Oh, sorry. In farewell, the creature slips silently away into the darkness. It was her saying that, and I read it as the one of the burly men. Burly men. In the quiet that follows, the men find themselves still sinking. Oh, God. Help! Help! Bearded Travelers. Okay, I'm not directing them. They're just going. Poke the crabs. There's nothing I can do. They're just there walking. As color's starting to come back. Oh, are we breaking the surface? <laughs> hey. How are we not dead? <laughs> Can I can't do anything yet. Okay, there we go. Give me a moose. Don't touch me. Little house. It, what? Is this the coffee shop again? Oh my, it is. Thought you'd find a way to that door eventually, the old man greets them. The familiar has a way of making itself new when you look at it sideways. Never seen that part of the island before, I bet. The men shake their heads. Okay, so we still still have that map, he questions. Steady beard nodded, nods silently passing it to him. Hey! I see you managed to find those adventurous deeds. And did ye meet her? Meet who? I, brave beard, is first of the brothers to speak. Magnificent, magnificent she was, like the shiandule of old tales. But she told us we've more to see. Don't know how to pronounce that word, so I'm not going to try, sorry. Ah, he'll be there when you're ready for another go. The old man gestures to the books. Those shelves are full of tales like yours, and all with paths left untrod. There's a twinkle in his eye. I even contributed a few in my time. I was gonna say, did that old is that old man you know probably an adventure considering he's got a big massive beard like the rest. But did he just spike our coffee with something and so we've actually just been seeing stuff? <laughs> That'd be a weird twist. You see, he continues, what's left unwritten in one story can fill in up fill others. If ye the inclination to sail again, have another look at that shelf. Huh. Early men at sea, steady beard, ready is allowed. Not a bad little title, that. But what's all this numerical business on the spine? And how did... He gives them a sly look. That's another mystery, if you have the curiosity for it. Huh. And one last thing, continues the old man. I don't mind telling you that I was the one who sent your bottle to sea. I have another to be tossed out for the next curious soul. Will you... Will ye don the honor? Do the honor? Blech. Give it here, old man. Okay. So are there like four major paths or something? Is there four books there, or can there be like a 
Yeah, art and animation story, Brooke Condolora. Condolora. De David Condolora. Yeah, it was like husband and wife team, I read. And they made studio brain and brain. Music and sound, Pleiad sound. Okay, yeah, I suppose that was Burly Men at Sea. QA testing, Robert Mer Me Megon? 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 Sorry. Localizations. Yeah, so that was Burly Men at Sea. That was a very pleasant little game. <laughs> and apparently there's more. I'll have to look into maybe seeing if there's um, maybe something if you get all the alternate paths or like what other alternate paths might entail. But as a one-off, that was just nice and pleasant. Very cute. Very enjoyable. This kind of like acapella music. Is, did that do that for everything? I liked how the thunder is just like, that was totally somebody doing it. So yeah, Quiet Adventure by Brain and Brain. See 2017, but I think it released in 2016 proper. So now what do we do? The old fella tells me you found what you were looking for, he says, lowering his flute for the moment. But I bet it'd make a good song. So do we have to throw the bottle in the water, or...? There's a ship. Because effectively, effectively, I think that's it, but just curious. Come back to us, exclaimed Tasty Beard, and more lovely than we left her. Courtesy of uh, Barnacle, Barnacle Transport Service, Inc. Read steady beard from a notice on the side. Why, that great blubbery belly egg did us good, did us good deed. Right, the whale. So are we just like starting the game over again? So is the whale gonna pop up and then... Yeah. Gosh darn it. Back here. Can't go anywhere that way. Okay. Oh, I was trying to... <coughs> well, move! But we just gotta talk to them again first. I don't know. Alright, we need the torch. Okay, back, just doing Be Welcome, Wary Pilgrims. Speak of one of the nips who can resist the majesty of the Barnacle One. Hard to resist when you're sucked down like a clam in stew. Okay, I, it is different dialogue. I just looked it up real quick, and apparently there's 12 different endings? And I'm not gonna go for all of them, so... But, you know what? I'll, we'll probably play through one more. We'll try some things different. Everyone journeys this way daily, so that through him all may one day find the place of promise. Predictably, the nymphs trade nods of approval. Will you wait with us here by the fire, or is it the way of the faithless you seek? No, oh, we got the torch just in case. Okay, there is nothing to the left. Or, to the right. Alright, let's try the hatch this time. Apparently there's 12 endings, because there are actually quite a few possibilities. But... Let's do go for two. Gonna punch. That'll be our exit. Observe, observe Safety Beard eagerly. Give her a tug. That's a bad idea. But aren't we? But we aren't properly floated. Contends a nervous Steady Beard. We can't go about tossing ourselves overboard without, uh, without certain assurances. Rubbish, Grunt Spray Beard. Give me water, and I'll I'll teach you to carry me. We can go get the flotation. Yeah. Okay. Before we do something stupid. Because they were talking about the barrels. In the torchlight, the men examine the floating barrels. Once more, once more. Still say we grab them and get out. Grunts, hasty beard. They'll float well enough. Aye, but will will they sail? Steady beard is unconvinced. Brave beard merely snorts. Take them. Do we just gotta click them again? Sweet. Uh, I figure they just ride on top of the barrels, but you know what? Fine. Works for me. Oh, where do we go? What if we just go sit by the nymphs now wearing the barrels? Will that change anything? Let's give her a pull, boys. His beard is fiery with excitement. Summon that fountain and let's be off. 
Braybeard grumbles eloquently from his barrel. Steadybeard looks worried. Ugh, that sounds horrible. Probably feels terrible. So could you have tugged that without even taking the barrels? What? I'm sure you could. Aha! Wooden trousers. Yeah, if you gotta go direction, it's probably right. This was a good idea, men. I still stand by that. Tiring, the barrel clothed men settle back and drift with the current. M may as well see where it ta this takes us, observes Citybeard bleakly. Time passes. Brave Beard begins to snore rackishly from behind. Time passes. <laughs> I was going to say, do we swim and then leave him behind? Hey. Ship ahead. The ship awakens Bravebeard and just goes, eagerly overturns his barrel, resurfacing a moment later to cough out. It begins. Oh, somebody. What the devilry exclaims Hasty Beard? Is that just a Grim Reaper? Did this kill us? The grim cloaked figure clears his throat as he approaches. Greetings. Please climb, ab climb aboard for your complimentary trip to the afterlife. Ah, well, replies Steady Beard. Thank you, but we'd prefer the long way. <laughs> There is a long silence. The figure is masked, but the men feel distinctly that he is sulking. At least he heaves. At last he heaves a desolate sigh. You do not willingly forfeit your souls, he pleads. It is quite painless, and I'd be <laughs> and I would be at last be promoted from this appearance issue robo <laughs> rowboat. Another silence follows. Then he continues despairingly. There must be a race at this. Hasty Beard faces <laughs> face cheers significantly. Maybe you will be so kind as to lose. No, of course not. He sighs again deeply. Oh, we race through the cliffs of despair. He explains mournfully. If the three of you pass me at any point, I lose. If I take the lead, however, un however unlikely, I do not lose. Meaning you win. I had not thought of it that way, but I suppose that would be the case, yes. Without waiting to confer, Hasty Beard sets off paddling furiously. Damn it. Whoop, nope, nope. Go, Hasty. Go, Hasty. Does this actually help me, or is it... No, it does not help me. Grab his oar. Okay, I just stopped clicking and just started holding the button. He just trailed behind. Did I get this right? Sorry for scuttling your prom prom oh really sorry very sorry for scuttling your promotion and all that offers steady beard it's not so bad tries berry beard you have a boat and that's nice scary mask i do not have a nice mask sniffs the muffled voice great well goodbye he calls hasty beard paddling away the others join him so is that his actual face oh that's that's sad someone give him that someone get on that boat and give him a hug <laughs> Can we go back? No? Okay. So I had a run in with the Grim Reaper for mayhaps. So that's a thing that happened. The long way. Oh god, the sun's falling on us! Oh 
Let's just go in now. After a time, the men began to notice something strange about the setting, setting sun. Its course seems to be drifting gradually left. Never seen the sun move like that, Braidbeard muses loud, aloud. What is it up to? Could be a lot of things. It's the sun. Steadybeard looks worried. I have a feeling it's more serious than a wayward sun. Do you know? The, did you know the wind? Can't seem to make up its mind. Aye, far worse, realizes Hastybeard. It's a current we're caught in. Just the sun, the sky, and the winds and the water just don't like us today. And a mischievous one. By my reckoning, adds Steadybeard, his voice growing more tense. We're drifting in a circle and faster by the minute. Bravebeard shouts names. There, er, Bravebeard shouts names. There. Oh, okay. It took me a second. Like, how do you phrase that? No, Bravebeard shout names. There, fear. Maelstrom. Sorry, it took me a second. Oh, well, that was a cute visual. A uh, cool visual cue. From high above, the water's accelerating swirl is unmistakable. The men paddle furiously, but with the widening vortex, it's inescape is inescapable. They are carried deeper, thrown against the rising wall of water. Oops. Collapsing, the maelstrom tosses the men in their barrel towards the surface. Okay. It was kind of a cool scene how they like conveyor belting down. So, if I just let them go, could we have different interactions that they go to the bottom of the sea or up? So I think I caught it just in time. Well, not just in time, that was like immediately out of the deep and in something. Well, that was a day, moving forward. You ever think about just settling down at home, maybe meeting a nice lass and just uh, relaxing for the rest of your days? No, why do you think we're always at sea? <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'd rather settle down with a burly man, much like you two gentlemen. I see what you get. <laughs> Never mind. That tangent was going. <laughs> Never mind. Anyways. Uh, heavy fog setting in. Oh, this fog reminds me of Pappy sm heavy smoking. Oh, do we? Oh, hey, it's her. You've somehow not died. So again, we meet again, bearded travelers. You have sought new paths this day, she smiles. The men nod unnecessarily. Yet still others lie untrodden behind you. Her gaze is deep searching. It is well for you bear, for you bear the look of those who would seek them. May we meet again at the end of another path? I think this is just her. Oh, yeah, may we meet again? Yeah. So, same conversation. So, she's just kind of the one that resets us. Her words seem ling to linger, leaving them quiet as they drift on in the fog. Okay. So, yeah, she's kind of like the end point of everything, so. Consistency. And I don't think there's really anything for getting all 12 endings besides just trophies. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I know. It's like just trophies. And that's what you get for um, getting all the endings. Which is fine enough if you're into that. I think this is our island again. Are we technically littering? A little bit. Yeah, our island. Do, 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 do. Just trotting through again. Well met. Brr. Yeah, not much else to say if this just like, you know, the same ending again. Which is fine, again. Again, for what I... From just these two, like, I, that's a very, this is a very pleasant, fun little game, and I've <laughs> enjoyed it. Back again, I see. Had another go, did you? The old man greets them, smiling. Oh, let's see it. Is the whale always the same starting point? I don't think there's anything different I could do, is there? 
Ay, he sighs. Beautiful, that is. Book two, Burnley Men at Sea. As they turn to the shelf, he nods. I'd wager there is room for more up there. Bunch more. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I think we're done here. This was a fun little one-shot, though. This is a very nice, pleasant game. Very beautiful art. Very beautiful, simple art style, which is very nice. And the charming music and charming, like, voice acting, which is just, like, the sound effects and, like... I don't think it's... I don't know if it's all acapella, but there is acapella elements to some of the music, so that's very cute. Shuffle over. Yeah. Effectively, I think I'm done here for this video, but yeah, Burly Men at Sea, I'd still recommend it because if there's that many endings, even if they're simple, give it a try. It's a fun little charming game. You know, just enjoy the little pleasant journey. Just being at sea as a burly man, and that kind of sums up the feelings. Very simple, very enjoyable. That's about it. Just, again, very pleasant. All right, I suppose this is where we wrap up for now. So, yeah, with that all being said, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off. And thank you for watching me play Burly Men at Sea.